What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new season of VGC 2021 Series 8. I was under the impression we we're gonna play Series 7, but apparently I was wrong. We're playing Series 8 still, so I'm gonna be using a rental team from Mifo on Twitter and also a subscriber and Discord member. Uh, this is an interesting team. Uh, they're a big fan of Maractus, so I'm gonna be trying that out. It's Solar Beam, Weather Ball, After You, Spiky Shield, Maractus uh, on a Calyrex Ice team. It's sort of standard Trick Room stuff, but uh, instead of like an Incineroar, they decide to go with a Assault Vest Scrafty. So let's see how it works out. It's honestly a pretty interesting team and I'm excited to try it. So if you guys enjoy this video and like playing time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And answer my comment question of the day. If Venusaur didn't exist in the format, what would be the best grass type? Honestly, I think it would be Kartana or Rillaboom. Uh, but I don't know, like beyond those two, what do you think? Because it it's pretty obvious, Kartan or Rillaboom, but like once you get rid of those two as well, like if those top three didn't exist, what would it be? As you can see, I'm making the Absol team in game. Uh, and no, there is not supposed to be a Scent of Scorch on there. Uh, but yeah, where is this rental team? Here it is. I'm pretty interested. Uh, by the way, the rental code, of course, was on screen just now, but there's also a Poke Paste if you want, and I'm pretty sure they're fine with me sharing it. Uh, but. The Scrafty is specially defensive with Fake Out and Snarl. Uh, Mimikyu is just Max Max, Shadow Sneak, Willow is Trick Room Taunt, standard stuff. Um, no Fairy move, which is interesting though. But yeah. Of course, this is the start of a new season, so we're in Great Ball tier again. And we're facing a Lapdog team. Um, I feel like it's pretty clear that I want to try to set up a Trick Room here, so uh, I could go... Hmm... I could go with this lead and feel pretty good about that. I definitely get a lot out of uh, Torkoal in this game, I believe, as long as I get rid of the Lapras. Torkoal does amazing work, uh, especially since the Torkoal is carrying uh, the Charcoal to boost the Eruption power. I kind of wish I had Burning Jealousy. It would actually be a lot more useful, in my opinion, but it is what it is. And it looks like my last Pokemon here. I may have to... Hmm. My play actually might be... Yeah, I'm going to lead off that way. Uh, I suppose we can just bring the Maractus for laughs. I don't know what it does here. It might be useful. I have no idea. Hmm. No, I don't think Maractus is useful in this matchup. We'll go with the Intimidate user. It'll probably just generally be okay. Whoops, I have my Pokemon in the wrong order. There we go. There you go. So lead off uh, with the two Trick Room setters. <clears throat> Apologies, uh, I just woke up today. So yeah, uh, my my voice isn't exactly where it's supposed to be. <clears throat> I really should have gotten a cup of water before I started. That would have made a lot more sense than just recording dry. Okay, so they lead off with Amoongus Lapras. Um, honestly, I'm pretty okay with this lead. <laughs> I'm going to outspeed it with the um, with the taunt from the Mimikyu. So I should be able to just go for that. In case it's uh, Focus Sash, I don't want to really mess with the possibility of that. So I'm going to Trick Room up. <clears throat> I should be able to eat a hit from the Lapras pretty easily. We'll go for the taunt here. Yeah, so that's going to prevent future Rage Powders and uh, Spores. And that should be pretty useful. On top of that, we also get the Trick Room off. So Lapras is going to Dynamax here. And uh, that's going to be a little bit problematic because they are going to be doing a decent amount of damage. It looks like they went for the Spore, trying to prevent my Trick Room. They go for the G-Max Resonance, which is fine by me. I'll actually take this opportunity to take a free KO by uh, Shadow Sneaking my Calyrex and going for a Max Hailstorm onto the... Uh... Actually, I don't even think I have to go for the Max Hailstorm. 
I could just go for the Glacial Lance for damage on everything, but it's probably better just to max Hailstorm. I could also max Quake, anticipating them to go into Incineroar. Because it's likely they brought Incineroar, but I'm not certain if they did. Hmm. I suppose we'll just go for the straightforward play. Regardless, this will be doing a decent amount of damage. As they opt to stay in, so I'm pretty happy with that play. Because, uh, worst case scenario, I still pick up a KO because I hail damage. Or actually, like, if it's Focus Sash, I still pick up a KO. And I would assume they are Focus Sash because they stayed in on the, um initial turn get my weakness policy off we are now at plus two and a plus two calyrex ice is nothing to laugh at this thing does insane damage oh never mind it is something that you can definitely laugh at they are laughing at me like really hard can i still get a ko can i get it to plus one no i can't they are not letting me get the ko <laughs> now i'm just sad now I am sad. Max Geyser, yeah. Um, I still could get the KO by targeting into the... Um, I could target into the Amoongus with a Max Quake. And that'd be fine. I think I'm just going to do that. Because I always pick up the KO. They can't avoid this. <clears throat> if they go into Incineroar, I still get damage. Uh, and I'll actually take this opportunity to go into... I'm going to go into Torkoal here just to get rid of the rain. It'll greatly reduce the damage I take from a Max Geyser. There we go. So the sun's up. I shouldn't take too much from Max Geyser. They go for a clear smog. And I'm going to get up to plus one. The fact that they have yet to go out into Incineroar makes me feel like they don't have it. But they probably do. Get a nice little special defense boost there, too. <laughs> so, uh, the Lapras would definitely need a crit to actually KO this, uh, this Torkoal if they wanted to. There's the Max Geyser. Hopefully onto the Calyrex. There we go. That did like nothing. <laughs> that's sad damage. That's how that's that's what I like to call comically low damage. <laughs> I feel like if there's anything I would put on like a t-shirt, I have it would have to be comically low damage. <laughs> At this point in my YouTube career, that's like one of the things I say way too often. Okay. So, I'm not too threatened by anything here. Uh, they didn't bring Incineroar. <laughs> I'm going to go for a Max Hailstorm here. And uh, switch in the boy. Switch in Scrafty. By the way, I have been clearing my throat between like turns here. So I'm going to have to cut out all of that audio. If you guys are hearing me cough, that's because I failed to cut out the audio. My apologies. <laughs> I do not want you guys to hear me clearing my throat. There's the Intimidate. <laughs> We're going to lower damage as much as possible. They go for the Grassy Glide, and it's going to do, like, no damage. Comically low damage once again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get up to plus two now. And since Scrafty just hit the field, if there is a Zacian in the back, which I assume there is, uh, I have Fake Out Pressure, which is great. to go for the Hydro Pump. It's going to do, like, no damage. Yeah. That was essentially no damage. <laughs> the last mon has to be a Zacian, right? There's no way it's not. 
Yeah, there it is. So, it's in my best interest to uh, just fake out the Zacian regardless of what happens here. I believe Trick Room's ending, right? No, it's not. I still have one turn of Trick Room. Right? Yeah, there's still one turn of Trick Room. Um... I suppose I just... High Horsepowerization. And, uh... Fake out the Lapras. I thought Trick Room was ending, so I was like, yeah, I just do this. Okay. So, I definitely need to get off Trick Room to uh, win this match. I think my play here... What is my play? Hmm. Aurora Veil wears off. Twist Dimensions turn normal. I need to get a Trick Room Setter out next to Scrafty, so I'm going to protect here. And I'm going to try to sack this Mimikyu. And if Mimikyu survives this turn, I'm going to be upset. Because it's so unlikely that it actually would. There's the Behemoth Blade. Freeze dry onto Mimikyu, please. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me, really? Alright, um, how do I do this? Does Mimikyu have Protect? I think my best play here is to get in the Torkoal and to try to Trick Room because regardless, I think I still have enough pressure to beat Zacian on the next turn. <clears throat> yeah, so the sun's up. Uh, I don't think I'm within range of Hydro Pump then. Torkoal eats that. <laughs> and they go for the Hydro Pump. <clears throat> Into the Torkoal. Oh my god. Okay, cool. So Trick Room went off. Uh, I win. I don't see how I lose with Trick Room off now. Alright. Alright. So let me get back in the, uh... Is it within range yet? I think I have to do this first. No, I think regardless I win, even if I just go for it here. <laughs> it might not be within range of high horsepower, but it's, a, it's certainly within range of, like, high horsepower shadow sneak and another shadow sneak. So I'm going to go for the high horsepower here. And... Yeah, I'll just Shadow Sneak. Because they don't have Aurora Veil up. Yeah, it's probably within range. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so now I definitely just win. There's the Hydro Pump. And they miss it again. Yeah, I mean, this game would have been over quicker if um, they had actually landed their Hydro Pump earlier, but they did not, so. I suppose I just go for high horsepowers now. And Shadow Sneaks. I'm not sure why they haven't forfeited yet, though, because they have a Scrafty in the back. And that should just be an auto-win. 
There's the freeze dry. High horsepower, shadow sneak, we're all good. Nice. So before I record the next match, I'm going to go ahead and get a drink of water because I badly need one. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, uh, that was a pretty interesting first game. Uh, I kind of wish we could have brought the Maractus, but I'm assuming Maractus is like exclusively for the, uh, what's it called, for the Torn Ogre matchup. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to use it today. Okay, um, yeah, Maractus doesn't seem great right now. By the way, I'm definitely going to use this in the second video. <laughs> I'm definitely going to use it again, just so I can try to get a Torn Ogre match. But this looks like it's just general weakness policy Lugia stuff. It really doesn't like facing Trick Room, so we're just going to go for that. Yeah, this seems kind of free, to be honest. I might be wrong. Every time I say a match is free, I end up losing. Let me see. Is there anything Maractus does here? Weather Ball? Uh, ooh, wait. Hold on. I'm going to bring Maractus, uh, even though it's probably not better than Torkoal, because I could probably go for a Weather Ball in uh, the Hail and do a ton of damage. Because it's Life Orb, and Weather Ball does insane damage already. And if I remember correctly, Maractus doesn't actually have a bad... Uh, uh, special attack stat. It's like 106 or something. Alright. Uh, Latios Lugia. So we have four psychic types in the field and only one of them does not want to... <laughs> only, only one of them um, is like actually in like a dominating position right now. Do either of these guys learn Trick Room? I have to check. Because if they do, they might have him prison. Let me check real quick. Lugia. It does not. Latios. It does not. Okay, yeah, uh, this is free. I'm going to follow me. I'm going to trick him up. And they're going to Dynamax. They're probably going to go for a Max Wormwind. But honestly, I don't even care. Oh, no. They Dynamax the Lugia. I guess that makes sense, you know. Since uh, they're trying to go for weakness policy stuff. But I don't see how they get weakness policy off. Unless, like, Ladio somehow learns, like, Brutal Swing. Does it? I hope it doesn't. Simple beam, okay, okay. Funny, funny, funny. They were going for it. There's the max airstream. Yeah, good one, champ. That was funny. Alright, you ready for this play? Uh, Trick Room's up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break their multi-scale. I'm going to break their multi-scale with a... I'm gonna Mystical Fire for the meme. Actually, it makes more sense to Expanding Force. Just in case there's like a Focus Sash on the, um... on the Latios. I don't want to activate their Weakness Policy until... <laughs> until I've already, like... or hit him with a nice move until I'm already within range where I one-shot him. So I'm just gonna break their multi-scale and, uh... try to get a plus one off of this Latios. Which they stayed in, so I definitely just did. All right. There's the Max Hailstorm. Unless it's like Focus Sash, it's not living this. It's Focus Sash. Okay, well that's disappointing, but I'm still getting KO. And I'm still breaking the uh, multi-scale. Yeah, that's why I went for the Expanding Force instead of the Mystical Fire. Because if I uh, did not Expanding Force and it was Focus Sash, I would have been in trouble there.
Alright, that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna self shadow sneak and get a KO. Oh, wait, no, I can weather ball. Alright, it's time for Maractus. No, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna weather ball. It's gonna be so funny. Please, please don't have a fake out user that's coming in. I wanna weather ball so bad. Like, I have never wanted to weather ball anything more in my life. Oh, it's in a, it's in a water ball. That's cute. Dang it. Okay. Uh, actually, wait, no, I can't fake out. It can't fake out. This is fine. So here's what's going to happen. Um, they're going to assume that I'm not going to be able to pick up a KO because I'm at minus one. And then the, the Maractus is going to save the day. Check it. Okay. So it is max, max. Oh, it's max speed. Dang it. This might not work out. I really hope it does, though. Please, please, please. Why is this a max speed Maractus? I really want this to work out so bad. Okay, no, I might not KO. <laughs> There's the weakness policy. Come on, I just need this. I just need this in my life. I just need to click weather ball and I don't care if I lose. That's fine, that's fine. I get to click the weather ball. I get to click the weather ball, I'm happy. I wonder if this actually KOs. That'd be interesting. Here's the Bisharp. Alright, that did not even come close. <laughs> now I'm just sad. How much is this doing? Yeah, not nearly enough. I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. Matter of fact, I think after hail damage, it's within range of the next weather ball, so I can just max quake this, uh... <laughs> I can max quake this Bisharp and it might do enough. Because they don't have a sash on it. Is that within range of the next... Yeah, it's definitely within range of another weather ball. And this time we get to see the animation. For the thumbnail. For the thumbnail, of course. Weather ball. How many turns of Trick Room are left? Two turns. Yeah, I can uh, max quake this thing. I'm only at... Well, I'm at minus two, so I probably won't <laughs> I probably won't KO it, but it's it's good enough. That's fine. I'll probably live the hit. Alright. So I get a nice little useless special defense boost in the, on the Maractus. Go for the Weather Ball, it's going to do like nothing on the Incineroar. Eh, respectable. How much am I taking from this hit? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I actually get my weakness policy, so they undid all of that work. Tell me there's still one turn of Psychic Terrain. So I can avoid a Sucker Punch. Cool, cool. Alright, I can avoid a Sucker Punch now. Um, I'm only at minus one. So I can probably do this. How much base speed does Maractus have? It's lower than Bisharp, so I should be able to KO with a Weather Ball. Yeah. And as long as I have damage on the Incineroar with high horsepower, I should be fine to uh, Shadow Sneak to win. <clears throat> as they completely forget about the uh, Psychic Terrain. Outspeed with the Weather Ball, and it does enough. Awesome. <laughs> That's all I needed. They take some damage, too. <clears throat> Alright, now here's the kicker. I am just now understanding why we have a Max Speed Maractus. So, 
unless the Aeroblast crits, I think I live it because I'm at plus one. I'm going to try to after you. I'm going to try to after you this hit, and if it works out, I'll be real happy. That's probably a really dumb play, but if it works out... No, they just disconnected. Awesome. <laughs> They're like, I am not losing to a Maractus today. Anyways, um, yeah, that's that's a win. <laughs> that was probably a win anyways. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I don't know why my throat's so, like, congested and stuff. I'm going to try to clear that out and then make another video. But thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like and then subscribe to the channel, turn notifications. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.